So, hey guys, Chelsea here. So, the Blitz battle, Little Brother versus Big Brothers is over. And this turned out to be a big blitz for me. I thought it could be, but I didn't imagine it would be this good. So let's break it down. First, I want to give a shout out to everybody who helped. We have a tons of, like, as I said in my previous video, we are cooperating now. My Alliance Passione with the Alliance Lovetail, LT. So we had a few guests here from LT. So if we check the rankings here for the Alliance, shout outs to, among others, Shannard, as well as Programmic from Lovetail. Good job. Rick also was a huge contribution. As for the other members, as you see there in the top three, we have two from Passione. Uh, the Olga Discordia is actually Blue Whale. He basically only plays Blitz and he always finishes high. He says this is his first, la last Blitz going hard though, so we'll see about that. But he did a great job, but sadly, for our, our sake, he missed out on first again. In the past, he has been foiled by others for winning. This time it was from uh, Amazing from the Alliance TRS. And in the past, it has been uh, a Korea named Hong who represented uh, Lovetail, but has since quit the game. But yeah, shame about that, but great performance anyway. 1211 runs is insane, especially in a, a slow blitz like this with seven stages and everything. Uh, Shannon also played great. Apparently he played non-stop without sleeping, which I have a hard time imagining myself. Uh, I'm there in top three. And I actually finished top 10 on Global, which is only the second time for me personally. Back in the day when we got Shanks Crew released for French Anniversary, when that was a thing, I finished top 10, even top 5 even, I think, on the local Sea Monster Blitz. And yeah, this is the local Sea Monster that is now a raid battle, but from the beginning it was a Blitz battle. So yeah, I did pretty well there, that Blitz was awesome. You got a ton of support medals, which was pretty rare back then, so I went very hard. But I didn't expect to go for top 10, mostly because I had a normal Friday with work, and then I had to sleep. And even if I cut down on the sleep as much as possible, it's still hard to make it then, but I was actually super fast this blitz. Usually in competitions like this, I end up not gaining much when playing. I mostly gain when others aren't playing. But this time I actually gained on others when we both were playing. So that helped me a lot, especially since I can do like play 20 hours in a row at the same pace. That's like one of my grind specialties. Anyway, we have some LT guests here, but there's also a lot of Passione. So this really feels like a Passione uh, victory for sure. I'll do some special shadows here. First to Ye, who finished fourth and just missed out on top 10. He had a very up and down blitz, started really good, then fell asleep and fell down a bit, managed to climb back up well into the top 10. And then he was asleep for the end, so he ended up missing the top 10 very sadly, but great job. Shoutouts to Xerox and Clown, Crown Clown for being neck and neck basically all the time. Uh, Xerox ended up winning by doing less runs but having better luck. He seems to be very lucky in general, I must say, including pulls and such. But great job to both, of course, and great job to everybody. Goa, who finished last here, like, still put in an amazing job uh, despite being ill. So, yeah, huge respects. And also we have Sindion here. And next, really great job. So a lot of people who really performed. And the number 10 spot being 1.4 million is quite amazing, actually. And yeah, you can imagine that with these numbers, we'll do pretty well in the Alliance rankings. We'll check all rankings. Uh, we'll start with the global server ranking. As always, this is very confusing when we have the 
in-app ranking, which is global server, and the global ranking, which is the worldwide server, so including Japan as well. I have no idea why they make it confusing like this, but in-app is the global server. And you can see here the top three. As said, Amazic from TRS, Blue Whale from Passione, and Receive from Assault Force, GG to all of them. Amazing Ryan. Top 10 is then completed by Bundes Noob from Assault Force, uh, LS from TRA, a Korean from AID, one of the biggest Korean alliances. I can't read Korean, Sally. Uh, we also have Garens from TRA. Also great job. He's great in all modes when he has the time and the boost. Uh, I was actually surprised by often gaining more, more points faster than him. Usually he's a bit faster than me, but yeah, we're both good at the game. Stuff like that happens. Uh, Shenard from LT, who represented Passione this time. We have another Korean who wasn't in an alliance. And then we have myself then. And I was up to 8th then, like with an hour to go, but then I stopped playing because top 10 was secured. And then, as you see, a lot of Passione below too. We really put in a great amount of work here. Huge respect to everybody. If we start looking at the Alliance rankings though, this is for the global server and you see that it was a home run. I don't think you can put it any other way. Uh, we finished first with over 20 million points total. That means that on average every member of Passione did like 2 million points, which is nothing to scoff at. Uh, TRA, great performance, finishing second. They were neck and neck with us in the beginning, but yeah, we went ahead pretty early and the lead just crept, kept growing, but still amazing job, finishing second. And then Assault Force, the powerhouse of Global, took it a little bit, little bit more easy this time, finished third, barely managed to beat aid from uh, Korea. So great job, everybody. TRS also managed to finish fifth, in a lot part thanks to Amazing, of course, but they have a lot of solid members. Uh, if we move on to the global ranking, uh, the personal global ranking is not the biggest deal, but I finished 26, so that's pretty cool. Usually in mo most like Blitz, the worldwide rankings, including Japan, will have more Japan players since they have less lag in general. And also, of course, just more players is a bigger server than us. So comparatively, we have a lot of global server players here than what it really should be. We are a very competitive server. But yeah, we got a few on the top 10, mainly the two main competitors, Rizzi just missed out, it is what it is. But yeah, 26 for me, I take that for sure. But yeah, then we have the big ranking of course, drum roll. How did Passione do in the Worldwide Alliance ranking? And we finished... Dum, dum, dum. First! Wow. This was a journey for sure. Basically, the way it worked was that uh, it, from the beginning, New Nexus, the Finnish second from Japan, we are ahead of us basically all the way from the beginning. Like on day one, they were like between 300k and 500k points ahead of us. It's not that big, but we couldn't get closer. Even when it was nighttime in Japan, we couldn't get closer, so they really went hard. Then when we went to sleep, uh, on the mainly EU times, they really pulled ahead of us. They went up to over 1 million points ahead. And I personally felt like, yeah, this feels hopeless. Maybe we can get second at least. But on the second day, when it was nighttime in JP, they actually went to sleep a lot of them. And at the same time, everybody on Passione went extremely hard. So in very short time, we went from being 1 million points behind to being almost 1 million points ahead. And then we managed to uh, defend that the rest of the way. And it looks close now, but with like two hours left, the win was basically secure, so a lot of us stopped playing, including me. 
So yeah, this, this is cool. This is my first ever win in any Alliance event. And that includes the in-app. Like, finishing first just on the global server is cool. If this was just it, I'd still celebrate it. But yeah, my, my first victory ended up being a big one, being both the global server and including the JP server, the worldwide ranking. So yeah, very cool. Uh, personal speaking, I say this a lot, but Blitz is not my favorite mode. Of all ranking events, it's probably my least favorite because it has very bad drops, it's super repetitive, it costs a lot of gems slash meat, so it just doesn't have a lot of value. So it is, I feel like I've achieved the big thing I want. The only thing left for me personally, it's uh, top three or first place in the in-app personal ranking. But that will probably be hard if I ever even attempt that. It probably needs to be a blitz during the summer, but they usually don't do blitzes during the summer. Like last year, for example, they had the Toberopa batch in July. It felt like perfect for a blitz, but no blitz. Obviously, I did very well that month anyway, so I'm not complaining. And honestly, I'd rather not go that hard in Blitz. It's mostly just to get all the big rewards, like I've done my Trash Map number one, uh, Kizuna rank number one. In Super PvP, I did number one there personal as well in the unofficial in ranking. And like, I just have like PvP personal rank one. Maybe a Super PvP Alliance rank one. And other than that, it's just finishing first in a Blitz. And that will definitely be the hardest. So I'll probably never complete everything. But I feel like I've achieved quite a bit anyway. And I'm super proud of finishing top 10. This is the first top 10 I've got since Global got really competitive. Global was like a different game back when Shanks Crew released. But yeah, again, shout outs to all my teammates and also everybody who helped out in our other friend alliances like Sam from Passione helped out with Love Tale and we also have a, like a, an alliance within PM called OS where a lot of the PM people played and also some from Love Tale. So great team effort and I'm looking forward to uh, teaming up with Love Tale in future events as well. Because in the end, I like when we have 10 people on a team really working hard for the same goal. That's more fun than being like five working really hard and then five not for obvious reasons like not having time, not having pool, stuff like that. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. So anyway, here is everybody again. Gr great job, everybody. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.